No. <laughs> no, dude. It's a real toilet. Uh, okay, already off to a wonderful start here. Is this a troll account? It has to be yeah, a troll. I mean, I mean uh, it is a troll okay, account, I right? Mean, is it? She took it. We saw the footage from the beginning of the video. She took a sip from it at 11 Madison Park. At one point, like, yeah. uh, titled the world's greatest restaurant, right? Yeah. Now, you guys do some crazy things with food over there yeah we do yeah and, and you know some exciting you know boundary pushing cuisine now we look at this you know is there any redeeming culinary qualities you can see out of it are you insulted Ange? i just i'm just so sad okay and you put it right here in the center uh, what, oh, what is that? Chef Brian Tsao here, not your typical chef, owner of Mission Sandwich Social, located right here in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, and the only winner of Beat Bobby Flay Season 1. And today, I'm going to be reacting to August the Ducks, the nastiest videos on TikTok, featuring special guest Chef Angela Pace. Before I go on with today's episode, I do want to shout out all of my amazing sous chef level patrons. Guys, thank you so much for your support. You, along with all the patrons, really do make a difference on this channel. And remember, by becoming a patron, you get to take advantage of some awesome perks like early access to new episodes, extended versions of certain episodes, but most importantly, patron exclusive content. All right, here we have Chef Angela Pace, formerly of 11 Madison Park. Chef Ange, can you please let the audience know where they can find out more about you and uh, a little bit about yourself? Yeah, you can follow me on Instagram at Hey It's Pastry. I think it should still be. It was Pace before. Oh, it was. But um, a friend was like, you should be more professional since you're a pastry chef. So I changed it to, hey, it's pastry. So, uh, and what was your position at uh, 11 Madison Park? Uh, executive pastry sous chef. Yes. That's what I left. That's what you left. Mm -hmm. All right, right. And well, 11 Madison Park, if you guys have not heard about it, uh, where the <laughs> you been? Look it up. Check it out. Badass restaurant. Have you ever heard of August the Duck? No. Perfect. No. <laughs> <laughs> we were supposed to do the Great British Bake Off today, but because of technology, uh, I can't screen capture it. I have to figure this out. Chef Ange will be back when we react to that. So for now, I'm going to gross her out with some August the Duck stuff. <laughs> it's turning, it's turning it, it's turning it into chocolate milk. It's turning it, it's turning into chocolate milk, and then you just get in there and- No, <laughs> no dude. As I am starting to record. <laughs> <laughs> Off to a great start. Off to a great start. I discovered him through the Cooking with Jack show. Cooking with Jack is another one I need you to react to eventually. Okay. But after I started reacting to Cooking with Jack, people said I need to check out August the Duck. And thank you. Thank you everyone out there because I love this channel to death. <laughs> Meet Banana Loves You Too. Does anyone out there, have you heard, Ange, have you heard of Banana Loves You Too? No. I refuse to download TikTok. Oh. Although, okay. I love watching TikToks on Instagram. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I don't know, like, if I'm, yeah, I'm not doing this right, but I will not download TikTok. I rather it filter itself. Yes. Good, onto Instagram. Good for you. Good for you. That's one less rabbit hole everyone can exactly. use. In the, you know, one less rabbit hole people To fall down. I've never heard of uh, this Anna Rothfuss, but um, that toilet milkshake concoction, uh, I think we're off to a great start. Chef on TikTok. Now banana. That chef. She's chef. She calls herself a chef. What's crazy is that they have one million followers. Yes. Yes. So yes. people love to see whatever this person people, is doing. People, like, 1.1 1, 1, 1 million, 1 1 million. As, as of when this video came out. I, I don't know exactly when this video came out, so it could be more. The worst chef on TikTok. Now, oh, Banana Love Me Too specializes in making just, just absolutely disgusting dishes. Genuinely the most unappetizing di- well. Not not the most unappetizing. There's some, uh, oh, there's some worse things out there. What is that? <laughs> Who is that? Who? What video was that he cutting to? Okay, in my mind, yeah. immediately, I was like, okay, they're po they're pouring Coca-Cola on it, yeah. right? Which is probably breaking down something, right? And then I thought, you know, saliva breaks down <laughs> stuff, and I, maybe this guy's like spitting out each piece of meat oh. to break it down. I, I think the, 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 the video they cut to where the person was biting chunks, I think that's a different content creator. I must know who this is. We must react to it. Let me know in the comments. If you don't mind, hit that subscribe button if you're not already. Small thing for you, but does great things for the channel. Let's go back to this reaction, shall we? Bad bananas cooking is. And I don't know if it's even fair to call it cooking. That seems like an insult to actual chefs. Are you insulted, Ange? I just, 
I'm just so sad <laughs> because just immediately. All right, I'm trying to get my Instagram game up. Okay. Right, because I have a good amount of pastry knowledge, and so I'm trying to make like these pastry videos to like, you know, and uh, they get like you know two thousand views max this lady has a million followers she has a chunk of meat in a coca-cola bottle <laughs> so immediately i'm sad but anyway well you know what that means Ange. you gotta I need start, to do that you need to start putting meat into coca-cola bottles yeah. but i'm sure you'll make it look better oh it's a real toilet uh, okay already off uh, to a wonderful start here if you're ever watching a video recipe and they start off by clogging their toilet i advise that you find something else to make for dinner I was really hoping it was, you know, it so wasn't. So Im immediately, is this a troll account? It has to be yeah, a troll. I mean, I mean uh, it is a troll okay, account, I right? I mean, is it? She took it. We saw the footage from the beginning of the video. She took a sip from it. That's what I, I think that there are trolls that will go that far. That'd be like, ooh, I'm enjoying this, you know? Oh, where's the dignity? God, all right. I was hoping when we first saw the clip at the beginning that it was just like a, a fake toilet, right? That yeah. they set up just for this. But that's a legit toilet that they had to clog up. You, you saw the water in there. Some of this. I'm, I have nothing this against not canned whipped far. cream, by the way. Yeah, like a lot of it in there. Okay. This is not a tutorial on how to make a milkshake. This is a walkthrough on how to get a $5,000 plumbing bill. Imagine how <laughs> stupid you would feel. From the videos that I've seen, I don't think that these people have children, so they can't even use that as an excuse. They have to explain <laughs> to a grown-ass plumber that they decided to make a milkshake in their toilet, and that's why half the city's sewer lines are covered in hot fudge. <laughs> make sure that uh, no. it fills a lot of the tank, okay? Like that? Yeah. Yep. She has someone and helping her. What happens when you flush this, okay? If you want it extra creamy, just because there's a little bit of water mixed in there, you'll add some whipped cream. Oh my it, goodness, that is so extra. Yeah. Yeah, just get a couple That of is extra? Okay. Go for it. Oh my god. Look at it's turning it's turning it. It's turning it into chocolate milk. This is honestly just embarrassing. These people look like they're in their early 30s, maybe 29, and they're actually doing this? I mean, like really? This is not even cringy in your usual way. This is just genuine disappointment in two adults. And then it's as it comes down. up, wow. it's turning it, it's turning it, it's turning into chocolate milk, and then you just get in oh. there and you can sip it right up. Oh. Imagine Frack. being this desperate for internet clout that you would actually <laughs> yeah, make literally. a milkshake in a toilet and then drink it. I mean, that is genuinely depressing to think about. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's crazy. And like my issue with that is that she's either making so much money off of her views that she's like, I don't care about being a troll or like what people yeah. say, right? No, this, this is exactly what she has to be doing. She's not enjoying drinking stuff she, out of a toilet bowl, you know? I, I don't know, look at her face when- I mean, she's pumped about it. She's look, pumped that it worked. <laughs> Jordan, can you zoom in on that? But like, like she doesn't look upset there. No, she's not. Yeah, yeah. she's not upset. Okay. Uh, at eleven Madison Park, I mean, at at one point, like, yeah. uh, titled the world's greatest restaurant, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, now you guys do some crazy things with f food over there. Yeah, we do. And, yeah. And you know, some exciting, you know, boundary pushing cuisine. I mean, this is like that's the caliber of work you do. Now we look at this. You know, is there any redeeming culinary qualities you can see out of it? No. I don't know. I don't even know how to <laughs> react to this. It's like such a waste. <laughs> like I I can't wait till we get over this hump yeah. of people like stop trying to get clout from wasting enormous amounts of food. Yes. Like exactly. two gallons of milk, like yeah. a f***ing cow produced that. Yes. And a cow had to be pregnant for that. For yes. this lady in a f***ing fedora <laughs> to sit next to her toilet and drink a chocolate shake out of it. It's just ridiculous. I, I mean, it's it's a, stupid. So Chef Chris Santos, uh, who, you know, was my boss, but also a judge on Chopped, mm -hmm. uh, my former employer rather, um, you know, he would always say this great line about, you know, if you mess a dish up, you basically not only piss off the customer, but you negate all the work it took 
to yeah. get the food there, right? Mm. From the delivery driver to the, you know, to the distributor, to, you know, the farmer, like all the hard effort that all these people along the supply chain put into just got f***ing ruined because, you know, you and you I may have up. burnt something yeah. or mm-hmm. like misplated or the, or the food came out cold, you know, because yeah. our timing was off. But this is someone that's blatantly taking perfectly good food and just, I mean, they're not going to finish. Just it. tossing it out. Yeah. yeah. She's going to flush it yeah. down the toilet. Yeah. And she's going to f*** up, you know, her neighborhood's plumbing along the way. Hope you're enjoying this video because there is an extended version available on my Patreon. That's right. By becoming a patron, you get to watch extended versions of certain episodes along with patron exclusive content. So be sure to visit the link below and become a patron today. And with that said, back to the episode. Okay. Is that a ball of mac and cheese? That is a ball of mac and cheese. Okay. So- oh my God. <laughs> An entire thing of that five pound tube hamburger meat is 7,000 calories. I think Nikocado Avocado has a new competitor. Just that first and then we'll do a little roll like that. So now you take your macaroni ball, okay? And you put it right here in the center. This is Velveeta. More of Okay, you're gonna mold it as well, just like clay. Everything she has made has contained nothing but beef and cheese. I have not seen a single seasoning. I haven't even seen her use salt. <laughs> what is happening in this kitchen? What do you think so far? How's your technique? You know, if you were- I don't know. I, I'm so scared if she's going to drop it into a fryer. I'm, it's like I just picture those turkey videos yeah. where everybody's like, let's fry the turkey. And then they drop it into a fryer and everything lights up into flames. Yeah, but I, I'm hoping that happens. I'm scared. Like that. Now you're going to wrap beef around this. Oh, she's doing the More biscuits? biscuits again? No. This has <laughs> got to be a joke. What is this even supposed to be? Wait, oh, no. Bi- there's water over there. That could be oil. I doubt it. That looks like water. Well, that pot is not going to fit that ball. I really hope she puts it in that pot. I I, I want to see what happens. <laughs> Macaroni meatball? Is this some sort of ancient recipe? This is a crime. And put them all around like this. Oh, oh wow. That's large. Okay. Okay, baking it. Uh, that is a huge mass of just everything. That center is going to be cold. Like, just based on the color of that, that center is still going to be cold as hell. Is the scent, like, uh, yeah, I wonder if it's just straight mac and cheese. Like, was it cooked? I, I mean, we didn't see the mac and cheese ball yeah. being made, and I don't recall the last time I went to the supermarket and saw, like, gigantic balls of mac and mac cheese. And cheese. <laughs> Incredible! Oh, yes. Oh, man. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look. Wow. Oh, that looks so good. That oh, meat is still moving. It's cooked. It's cooked. <laughs> is All- it? No. No, no, no. Because look, look at how pink the uh, protein is, right? Mm-hmm. All that juice is coming from the protein. If the protein is still that color, I'm pretty sure the center's still cold. Like early when we saw the pie earlier, you know, I was saying, oh, that looks pretty cooked. Yeah, but yeah. like this, you know, look at how thin that layer of um, biscuit, biscuit is, mm-hmm. right? So if the ground beef is still that pink and it's still pink on the bottom too so and it was in the oven where the heat's coming from the bottom mm-hmm. so yeah I, I think she just cooked it until the biscuit Biscuits was, was yeah. yeah oh my god look at all the juice whatever you do don't think about drinking it my channel is slowly turning into like a diet supplement you come and watch one of my videos and you can't eat for the rest of the day <laughs> i might need to start marketing that that's oh. so true i feel full like i feel full and i haven't even eaten like and i biked here <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I can't even eat another thing today. Oh man, Ange, that was uh, that was my first time reacting to an August the Duck video. So thank you for joining me on this adventure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, what what do you think? Well, what's your takeaway from this banana whatever person? Um, I, I do not judge people when they cook. Right. Right. Like I. I'm not a judgmental person. Except for if, everything we did for the last 35 for, like, minutes. Except for that, yes. No, but like if somebody tries, right. right? If somebody's trying, they're trying to make something funky or cool. I'm all down for that. That's great. I just can't stand a troll. Yeah. When it comes to food. Right. Because it's like, if you're wasting food, not cool. I don't know. I mean, the last, the last one, I feel like, what? Like, why would yeah. you do that? The right. pie, I didn't feel so bad about if they eat that. Yeah. Great. But do you think they're going to eat that whole mac and cheese meat 
biscuit ball. I mean, you know, she, she looks very thin and petite and fit, so I'm going to assume no, unless she just has the most <laughs> amazing metabolism. Yeah. But who knows? Like, you know, I, I'm assuming it's her husband or boyfriend that's yeah, filming. Some- he could be like 800 pounds. And we just don't see him. Or he could be like Kevin, just like skinny and <laughs> crushes everything that he touches. So, I mean, if they're eating all of that, I'm okay. I can honestly go without watching another video, but I'm okay. Let, let yeah. them have their fun. Yeah. If they're throwing it out, which we'll never know, yeah. then not cool. <laughs> all right. I'm going to leave everyone with that. Chef Angela Pace, thank you so much for coming on to the show. One more time, let everyone know where they can find you. Yeah, uh, at Hey It's Pacey on Instagram. Yeah, like my like my new videos. There you so go. So I can get money. Yeah, there you go. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I love your honesty. Angela, thank you so much, guys. Go check out Angela's uh, Instagram page. I will put a link in the description below. And guys, hope you enjoyed this video as much as we did making it. And remember, don't be afraid to fail because it can only make you stronger or you can make some content that I'll make the fu- make fun of you about. Uh, stumbled on my words there a little. Anyway, with that said, I'm Chef Ryan. I'm not your typical chef, and I'll see you really soon. Say bye to the wide cam behind you. Behind you. Look up. Yeah. Say bye. Bye.